Hello my very most beautiful Aries. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your July weekly reading. This reading is going to go from the 4th through the 10th. It is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do a personals open. And everything that you'll need to know will be in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very most beautiful Aries, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Aries energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what is going on for you. You have the Ten of Cups in the reverse at the bottom of the deck for your general overall energy. I kind of feel... I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I feel like something is kind of sounds like kind of a harsh way to put it, but I do feel like there's a situation that's occurring that is kind of like putting the nail in the coffin, so to speak. Um, you know, it's, it's a really difficult, frustrating kind of an energy, but it really does help propel you forward. So even though you, I feel like you are a little bit disgusted, fed up, just all around done, and, I, and, you know, a little bit sad, a little bit unhappy about the situation. You know, somebody could have, I feel like there's somebody who is trying to reconcile, you know, with you or trying to prove themselves or, you know, you guys are trying to work on things. It's take it how it resonates. Um, but, you know, you're seeing that nothing has changed because I, I feel like this person has went and did something that just has you kind of downright disgusted with this Knight of Wands and Ace of Wands in the reverse. Three of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse. I do feel like it is going to lead you to a sense of conviction where you're blocking it out and you're like, no, you know, I'm done. Like, this is it. That's it. That's it. That's all. Um, and you are going to move forward towards a brand new beginning. So I do feel like in the end, you know, it really does help you get out of something that I feel like you maybe have had a hard time with. We're going to clarify in a moment, but I want to get your person's energy on the table. So you have the Six of Wands. You're feeling a lot more confident now because, you know, maybe before you, because of the feelings that you had for this person, um... You know, you, you kind of weren't sure, like, should I give it one more chance? Should I not? Like, feeling torn and feeling pulled in kind of both directions. Even if you knew it wasn't maybe the best, you know, the love that you had, I feel like it kind of pulled you back towards them sometimes. I feel like this is kind of finishing that off. You know, it's, it's just like, you know what? No. Like, this is why. It's helping you gain a lot more confidence when it comes to your decision and, and, you're, and you're moving forward, and your path moving forward. You're seeing where somebody is just very manipulative and where they put you down in... You know, they make you feel like out of your power and they make you feel just down, you know. Um, magician in the reverse, you know, there could be a little manipulative as well. You're kind of seeing them as somebody who's a player like tendencies on and off inconsistent, you know, not changing. I feel like you guys are ready for something new here. I feel like you could be telling this person exactly how you feel as well. I feel like you have other options. I feel like you're looking very attractive. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention with that six of wands or you will be. So let's look at their energy towards you. Seven of Cups. So there's a lot of illusion and stuff here. And I do kind of feel like with this energy too, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the Queen that can be a like speaking in half truths, not not being totally honest, not being all the way up front. Um, it can even be a little bit of a nasty energy, to be honest, but definitely a dishonest energy here. Um, I really feel like this person is like trying to pull one over on you like they were trying to make it seem like so much has changed and they were really ready to do this or really ready to do that and that just isn't the case you know it's showing up as an illusion and a dishonesty the king of cups in the reverse i feel like they're seeing where you are one i feel like this person is emotionally immature but i also feel like um you know this is really coming through where they're seeing where you are pulling back emotionally that you have your guard up to them now it's like they're not able to pull this over on you i feel like you're you're seeing very clearly okay it's kind of got you a little bit disgusted actually three of wands you're showing up all over this reading aries you got the magician got the three of wands and the emperor all your energy here three of wands in the reverse 
it's it's like this situation here is showing them that there's not going to be a future. That's just how it feels to me. You know, three of wands in the upright is like planning for the future, expansion, growth. You know, in the reverse, it's feeling like they're losing hope for that because they're they're starting to see where it's not going to happen. You're closing off to them because you see you see them for how they really are. The emperor in the reverse. Now they don't know what to do about it. Feeling a lack of control in the situation. Feeling like they don't know what to do moving forward. Feeling like they don't have a say. It's like they recognize that their actions have done it all and there's nothing that they can do to go back now. They're not happy about it. This is not what they wanted. Nine of Cups in the reverse. So they're showing their true colors again. You're, you know, it's kind of putting the nail in the coffin for you. I feel like you're ready just to move. You're done. You know, you're done. Tell me about this Seven of Cups energy. Why is that here? The Six of Pentacles. So the illusion that they were trying to, you know, push on you, that what they were trying to pull on you, was that they were really ready to give to this equal give and take. They were ready, ready to put the work in. They were ready for it to be reciprocal. They were going to make an effort. You know, that's where that's what the deception is. Tell me about this King of Cups in the reverse. What is this King of Cups in the reverse here for? The Three of Pentacles. So that's really being put on display for them. They are really seeing where they don't have the same effect on you that they once did. You're pulling back emotionally. You have your guard up when it comes to them, and rightfully so. Tell me about this Three of Wands in the reverse. The Queen of Wands. You know the thing is, is that this is kind of how they're seeing you. Queen of Wands energy. Somebody who is very fierce. Somebody who's very passionate. Somebody who really knows their worth. Somebody who knows exactly what they want and isn't afraid to cut things out or afraid to go get it. Tell me about this Emperor in the reverse. The Magician. So they really want to make this happen. You know, they want what they want. They want you, but they know it's out of their hands now that you have all the power in this situation, especially with this. These are both your energies. So they're like trying to pull one over on you and you're not, you're not buying it this time. You're not buying it this time. Nine of cups in the reverse to the ace of cups. So... I feel like you could be telling, especially with this Ace of Cups being the action, I feel like it's like an outpouring of emotion. I feel like you're letting this person have it. I feel like you're telling them exactly how you feel, exactly what's happening, exactly what you're doing moving forward, and they don't like it. Nine of Cups in the reverse. It's, they're not satisfied with it. They do not like it. It makes them unhappy. They see that you're moving forward. They even have the chariot here as well. So it's a really... It's kind of an empowering reading. It is a difficult energy to finally kind of like wash your hands of somebody here. And that's what it feels like. It feels like you're just like washing your hands. Like you're finally, you're finally done. And I feel like you're letting this person have it. You're telling them exactly how they feel. Because you, because nothing has changed here. And they were trying to pull one over on you again. Trying to manipulate you again. And I just feel like you're just absolutely done here. We're going to grab another deck. We're going to take a look at what the biggest challenges in this situation. We're going to take a look at what you don't see coming and then some advice. But this is really going to move you forward. So as difficult as this is, you know, it is leading you to a brand new beginning. Ooh, that's too many. What is the biggest challenge in this situation for Aries? What is the biggest challenge? We have the Knight of Wands. So this person, <laughs> this person's energy. Um... You know, and you going after what you want as well. The Nine of Wands is a card. It can be a card of desire. So I feel like you recognizing what you want and recognizing where this just doesn't align. I also feel like it's this person, you know, and their player-like tendencies or their, you know, lack of effort or their manipulation, just all of it. And you taking the action, wow, to go after what you deserve, what you want. All right, so what is, what doesn't Aries see coming? What doesn't Aries see coming in this situation? The Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are really going to be focused on yourself, your goals, your work. Um, you know, the, the Queen of Pentacles can be very self-care vibes because she can take care of everything else, but she does that because she takes care of herself first. I feel like you guys, all of this energy that you guys have given this person and given this situation, you guys are finally putting that towards yourself. You're finally giving yourself some of that energy, some of that love. I think things are going to start to, I feel one, I feel like, especially guys, this is a side note, but if you guys are trying to start up some business or some side hobby or 
something of that nature. I feel like if you've been lacking the resources, or even if you've just been lacking the resources in your life financially speaking, um, there's going to be about a turnaround for that. You guys are going to find the resources that you need. Okay, so that's a message that's coming through, but three of wands. There's a lot of a lot of stability coming in, especially financially. You guys are about to be in a really good place. Um, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of expansion, future planning. You guys could be making some new plans when it comes to your work, career, your business. What advice do we have? The death card and the rebirth. Yeah, you guys are going through a transformation here. Um, and, and it starts, this ending is kind of like the catalyst for your brand new beginning. So you guys are about to be going through a death and rebirth process, and I think it's really beautiful here. So this is a difficult situation, but it's really putting you on the path to a major transformation in your life. But this is what I have for you guys. So if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light.